Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Just got Sketchbook Pro 7 and I, I updated it or purchased a new version for one specific reason uh, and that's the new perspective rulers that they got. Here's a one point perspective and this has got to be the neatest approach that I've seen to making drawing uh, perspective easy or easier uh, and I'll just do a simple room real quick to show you the one point and all it's doing is, is it's giving me this little three-dimensional guide that is moving itself interactively you can see it shift there and working off this one-point perspective and I'll tell you it's the most fluid feel and approach that I've seen thus far and I've tried multiple softwares because I, I personally struggle and dislike drawing uh, uh, you know buildings and rooms and furniture and stuff like that I'd rather be drawn you know superheroes and faces and whatever so monsters whatever so uh, anything that makes this portion easier I'm all for it uh, and this makes it pretty darn easy if you see I'm just kinda and this is all real time um, I, I didn't you know I'm talking and drawing this as we you know as we go um, but yeah just the ability to you know scribble this stuff out interactively feels so much cooler um, and I'm sure over time will teach me a lot about uh, perspective because I, you know, I don't, uh, I don't particularly study it as much as I should. Um, obviously, there's a very ugly couch. It's supposed to be a couch, folks. Um, but what I would do on something like this, uh, you know, is probably box out the room like I'm doing here, get a really rough kind of layout. I'd, I'd probably actually scribble the room first. So I probably should have did that. Um, but for the sake of just showing you how this tool works it's just so quick and easy I think the only thing that could be a little bit nicer is something like that where you have to pull a smaller line you have to pull past it kinda and go back in a race not a big deal you know just something that you know if you see I'm trying to do these short little pulls they're not really reacting it's probably thinking that maybe I'm making a mistake um, so it's wanting me to commit to the, the line that I'm creating so it doesn't you know throw all these little blips and bleeps in there that you don't mean to draw so you have to do a little bit too much of a pull but I guess that's fine because again you can just go back in there take um, take the perspective ruler off which I think you just hit escape yep. then grab the eraser tool clean up your line work if you go back to it pencil tool um, click on the perspective ruler again it comes right back stayed in the same spot so um, works really well and let's say back here we got a few little picture frame deals. Something like this. But I, I love this approach. I think this is the way that a you know a perspective drawing effect should work. You know, every now and then you'll get what you get there where you accidentally grab the wrong line. Um, but other than that, I mean it feels really natural. Um, you know, and this is this is right out the box too. You know, this isn't me messing with it for a little over an hour trying to figure it out, and then you know immediately going to to you know trying to draw something. So this isn't a lot of uh, you know me studying the software. So it's only going to get better with time, obviously. And yeah, and if I'm going to do something more organic, see how this uh, couch looks insanely boxy and horrid. Um, all I would do there is take the perspective guide off, again hit escape, grab the natural uh, just you know scribbly brush tool or whatever, um, I'd probably do a few layers like I do everything else when I draw this stuff and then I would draw out a, um, a side form of the couch that I'm trying to do. Say I want something, you know what, actually let's erase that, let's add or control Z back, uh, add another layer. And then I would draw the side form of the couch, something that looks a little more uh, comfortable, I guess, um, more couch-like. You know, draw the side form of it. Hold shift, you can get a nice straight line. That's the other cool thing about uh, sketchbook. Hold shift, you get these nice uh, straight lines. So incorporate that with your your drawings too, and you can fly through this stuff. Uh, so if I want to basically just add a little bit of trim line there and I don't have the perspective ruler on, I can just hold shift and get my nice straight lines like that. So now with that, I can just mimic that other side. 
like so. At any rate, you know, start giving it more of a, uh, I don't know what the word is, ergonomical feel or something. But, you know, something softer and plushier, not not so boxy looking like that. But back to the perspective ruler, because that's, that's the reason I got this, and that's why I'm so stoked about it. Um, you know, so just the ability, like over here, I want, a, you know, a bookshelf, you know. I mean, just quick and easy. Nothing that you got to think about. Uh, you're basically drawing, but while in perspective. And I don't want to knock other software. Some of them have a similar set of tools, but they're just a tiny bit more clunky than this. This is very fluid of a feel. You know, that's why I want to show you. You know, I didn't want to do a, um, any kind of uh, progressed video, uh, time lapse or whatever. I want to show you. I'm just sketching this as we speak with no working knowledge of it. And, you know, I'm not saying it's great, but it's relatively decent, you know, for being right out the gate. So, those are books, by the way, but this is where I would sketch it in, like so. Um, and then come back and I'll maybe another picture frame or something over here. But all just nice and easy to do, you know. And again, I would overdraw everything, then come back, clean up the lines, see if I want to add a little bit more... Uh, you know, kind of trim line and, you know, giving stuff double borders always makes it look a touch fancier. So then when you take the perspective line off, you know, you can give it the little 45s and that. But yeah, so there, there's a quick, uh, you know, one point perspective room and obviously stuff like this, giving it, you know, some bends and curves and making it look you know around some of the edges making it look a little bit more um, appealing um, so okay there's a quick one point and I'll show you the two point uh, I won't bother with the three point because obviously if you know comics or any of this stuff you know you know what they are I'm just showing you how easy it is to do them so add another layer grab the perspective ruler go to two point move your uh, horizon line where you want it obviously you can tilt it which is nice for more dramatic effects. Uh, let's lower it way down, which will mean that we're looking up at the uh, object more so, and begin drawing. And that, you know, and so now for a very extreme upshot of a building or whatever, uh, you know, we'll do like the middle of the building here, sides of the building there, whatever. Um, and that easy, you know, you just start detailing it out. It's always good to have some reference. I need reference for buildings. I suck at buildings, but um, and you know, if it, obviously, if it's an upshot, you're going to see end of the trim, like so. Like I said, the only thing is getting used to that fact that you got to kind of over pull the lines for short paths because, you know, I, I look at it more like it's probably a safety feature. It's again, it's probably stopping you and and making sure that you're committed to that line and that's what you want to draw in there but uh that's it and then you just do your little detail work it's got a really um accurate feel to it the only thing i wish they would incorporate incorporated and i don't know if it's in here or not but one of the things i always wish they would do with softwares like this so if you guys that uh design this stuff are listening here we go um i think that a really cool tool for doing buildings and things like that is this you know a measurement tool that works like this where you would pull say from A to B right and from that distance you would have a divider tool you would hit one divide two divides three divides so on and so forth and it would just separate those and make little hash marks now the reason why I think that'd be so cool is when you're doing windows bricks things like that it's a really quick way one of the workarounds that I do is I add a layer and then I would take this off, perspective ruler. I would add a layer and I would actually make these little marks equal uh, spaces away. Then I would distort those because obviously up this side is going to work perfectly for you know doing the, the line work. But then across here, uh, essentially these windows are drawn into perspective. So you would actually angle it and distort it a little bit to get that to draw into perspective. So if that same tool I'm talking about worked with perspective, uh, it'd be fantastic. It'd be another huge time saver for this type of stuff, for windows, trim, bricks, things like that. So 
any rate, I'm sure nobody's even listening to that that's going to matter, but I just figured I would throw that out there. But this is my workaround. I just build it as a separate layer, then I move that layer wherever I need it. Say I'm doing some bricks right here, uh, and then I go back to the initial layer, put the uh, perspective ruler back on. What is it? This one? Yep. And then now when I pull these lines, they're going to be nice and, you know, in here I don't have to worry about stretching them in perspective because they're already going to do that. See how they, you know, into this perspective guide, they got wider here. And then once I've got them to this point, I don't need to draw the other side because now this perspective guide's doing it for me. So your bricks get really easy by using that technique. So, and these would be insanely large bricks, but I'm just kind of showing you real fast. This part of eyeball, I don't really do any measurements for this part. Um, once I've got the initial start of it, oh, as I mess up, once I've got the initial start of it like this, I can eyeball from here to here to here and say, all right, there's another, well, that was too far. There's another set of bricks, and I just keep going like that. So at any rate, I just wanted to show you this. Um, it, it's really affordable. Uh, I won't get into pricing. I'm not trying to sell this stuff. I'm just trying to say, hey, for you out there that watch my videos and like uh, art that I create, I'm big into the software and stuff like that. I'm all almost all the way digital now. This is a really great one. Um, you know, there's your three-point. Uh, then there's even the fisheye effect, which I haven't even tried this one, so maybe I should real quick. New layer. Yeah, just insanely cool. I mean, the implications of this are just insane. So, yeah, have fun with that. Try it out if you like. Uh, be sure to check out the Blackstone Eastern. Blackstone Eternal Comic on Indie Planet. Always love the support. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like these videos. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future, and I'll, I'll keep them coming. It's at least uh, I do at least one one a week right now. So have a lot of a lot of fun, you know, doing stuff like this and hanging out with you guys and uh, talking about art and drawing stuff. So it's all good times. So keep drawing, keep having fun. Talk to you soon. Bye.